All right. Uh, I hope that was cool. That was the official zip intro video. Um, Nils Nelson flew out to film that with us. Um, if I guess if you don't know who we are, I'm Eric. Paul's behind the camera right now. We're both professional triathletes. Normally we just do videos about uh, kind of our training and life and races and stuff, but we kind of had this really cool opportunity to help Zip launch these new 858s. Okay, bullet points, what you need to know about these 858s versus the previous generation. Oh, and he's doing this because like, it's not, it's a bit confusing. It is a little bit confusing. Like what is hookless? Hookless is a new concept for people. Uh, this is true. So hookless means that there is not this gnarly like carbon hook essentially that goes around the entire inside of your rim and that's what holds the tire on. Hookless is just totally flat. You save all of that additional weight. Additional weight of having the hook. It just requires like a little bit more stringent tire testing. Only specific tires will work. 28C tires are the best. You can run an extremely low tire pressure, 60 PSI actually on here, and not be giving up any rolling resistance at all. That's tubeless, of course. These are 80 millimeters deep and they're actually the same weight as the previous generation 303s, which are a 30 millimeter deep wheel. So crazy light, super good rolling resistance as aerodynamic as the old 858 and um aren't they more aerodynamic they're like marginally fractionally more aerodynamic but you get all of these additional benefits of they're actually much faster because the rolling resistance is so low running a 28c tire at 60 psi and the, the ride is comfier ride is so good i rode these in uh, at escape from alcatraz where i won i think that's actually the first win <laughs> on these wheels um, and it was pouring rain. Escape from Alcatraz has the worst road conditions of any race I've done in terms of cracks and potholes and stuff. And I ran 61 PSI in the rear, 60 PSI in the front. Felt incredible the entire race and, and obviously it went well. If you're racing Kona, you 100% should be using this set. Lindsay. We're talking to you, Lindsay Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> these, are the, these are made for Kona. These things are Kona destroyers. Yeah. All right, so I obviously have also been riding these for the last month or so. And the biggest noticeable difference for me is riding with a lower tire pressure makes it so much more comfortable on expansion cracks and all of that. Um, yeah, so I've been having a lot of fun riding them around here. Uh, I, I do notice that they catch a little bit of crosswind because they are deeper than the 454, which I normally ride. So if you're concerned about that, the 454s are actually also hookless and tubeless. Um, but the 858s are just fast. Like if there's a flat, fast course, Kona would be a good one to ride um, the 858 front and rear since you can't use a disc in Kona. So absolute best option for that kind of a course. Um, Zip is also releasing an 808 today, not just an 858. Slightly lower price point, still an insanely fast and good wheel, and also hookless and tubeless. So two options for you. We haven't tried the 808s, but um, if they're anything like the 858s, they are, will be amazing. Last thing is just a huge thank you to Zip for including us in this launch and sending Nils out to film us and take photos. It's been an honor. I've been riding Zips my entire career since the very first time I did a triathlon. And even through my lowest lows, Zip and SRAM have continued to support me and brought Eric on this year. So it's just really cool to be a lifetime Zip rider and uh, as they come, continue to come out with innovative, cool stuff. So thank you for including us. And uh, yeah, we're super excited to share them and show you the videos that we're making with them. There's my wrapped up end of talking, so it doesn't just trail off randomly. Perfect. All right. Let's swim today. I haven't looked actually. 
Easy? Not hard? Yeah. Okay. Long aerobic. Thank you. White and blue. Maybe a white gold. And yeah, very well done. And a little bit of What's up, dude? Hey. How was I had no idea you were doing such a Euro trip. Uh, what was yeah, it? Yeah, for the off race with Fran. I got COVID when I landed in London last week. Okay, I think it's like a bunch of rounds of um, 400 pull, 4 100 swim, uh, but we do 800 warm up at plus some 50s or something. Nice. What you doing, babe? So I've got uh, SRAM sent me some new brake pads, some uh, and a new chain. Wow! Just in time for the race, and uh, I also got new tires from Specialized. I just got those on yesterday, so I've ridden those once, but the uh, brake pads are much appreciated. And then just get everything packed up, get this in the car, and uh, head out tomorrow morning after swimming. Maybe mom and dad were right when they told me this wouldn't be nothing. Maybe I should take that advice, go get a life, or maybe get a job or something. Pack it up and head back home, tell everybody I was bluffing. Or maybe I'll just get out my head and focus on what I know's coming. Yeah. Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams. Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between. Voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings But maybe, baby, this will fly, it feels like